what is it about robot movies and having more heart than anyone else? First Iron Giant, then Wally, now we have the Wild Robot. Hello and welcome to my channel. Here I review movies and television shows. Today I want to talk to you about the new family-friendly sci-fi animation, The Wild Robot. It's a fantastic film about a robot crash landing on an island and having to adapt in order to complete her task. The story is based on the book by Peter Brown and the screenplay was written by Chris Sanders. Sanders also directed the film which stars Lupita Nyong'o, Pedro Pascal, and Kit Connor. I can't gush enough about how much I enjoyed this. It's a nearly flawless piece of artwork that does exactly what you want from a film. It's entertaining, it works for all ages, and the story is full of good moral lessons. On top of that, the artwork is amazing, and the soundtrack pulls emotions right out of your chest. It's the kind of film that everyone should experience at least once in their life. It's just that well done. Starting with the story. The story begins with a bit of action as Roz the robot awakens and tries to make friends with the animals. Then it quickly transitions into a slice of life style comedy about a robot and a fox trying to raise a duck. Along the way there's jokes for all ages, a little bit of tension in the form of the island's inhabitants fighting, and a few heartfelt moments where Roz, Fink, and Brightbill share their worries and find comfort in their friends and family. It's a tightly written tale that's easy to understand and it has a lot of good lessons about the power of friendship and working together. It really impresses on the audience that people come in different shapes and sizes and that everyone has value. The cast does a wonderful job of bringing it to life too. There are all kinds of different voices for the animals of the island ranging from gruff and tough to soft and mouse-like. Each actor does a good job representing the animal they play and the general cast does beautifully with the humor. For standouts you have Lupita Nyong'o and Kit Connor. Nyong'o plays Roz the robot and has to transition from a friendly consumer AI to a mechanical mom hell-bent on protecting her kid. She does the transition convincingly. I thought it was really impressive when they had her talking to another robot of the same model. Roz has all these different emotions behind her words and the other robot is lifeless and cold. The contrast worked really well. Nyong'o nailed the emotional aspects of the character and played well off of Connor. Kit Connor plays the older version of Bright Bill. He plays a teenage duck trying to fly and swim for the first time while learning the truth about his mother Roz. He goes through some big emotional outbursts which gives Connor the chance to drive home the hurt his character feels. He hits it out of the park and leaves you feeling bad for him. It was also incredibly moving when Bright Bill and Roz reunited. Both Nyong'o and Connor gave tear-worthy performances. Visually, the movie is spectacular. It's a whirl of colorful lights moving fluidly. The animation work is crystal clear and brings the environment to life in captivating ways. The character designs are functional but capable of telling jokes well and they use them in some fantastic ways for the action. For standout moments there are a lot of big chase scenes between the animals and Roz and there is a battle toward the end that leads to a climactic finale. There's also a visual gag every few minutes. My favorite was the possum counting her kids. I love subversion and that one was straight up out of nowhere. Soundwise, the film employs original songs and scored orchestral tracks. They are in-depth, emotionally heavy songs that bring out happiness, sadness, and hype in excess amounts. They're always in tune with the scene and perfectly support the story. The music is never too loud, doesn't distract from the dialogue at all, and is highly entertaining. At different points, the characters don't even need to talk because the music is doing all the work for them. It's a truly special soundtrack that reminded me of John Williams' early scores. Very moving and highly memorable. Personally, I took my nephew to see this and it was the first time in a while that the theater was totally packed. It was a great experience laughing along with the rest of the audience and seeing how everyone else reacted to the big ups and downs of the story. I thought the story was well written and exciting. The voice acting was good across the board and Lupita Nyong'o was especially strong. The visual journey was a lot of fun and the kind of thing I could spend days poring over to find every little detail. Even the soundtrack brought out all kinds of emotion and did a fantastic job. The entire movie is well done and the only real complaint I have is that it wasn't trying anything new. The story is a little cliche, but it does its job perfectly. As for a rating, I'd give this film a 9 out of 10. Remember, these are just my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Bye bye